Movies have always had a knack for exaggerations and bending the rules of physics for the shock and awe that makes us love them so. But there are certain things that seem to be so unbelievable to the naked eye that to those who have a pre-existing knowledge on how things actually work in the real world, we get kinda bummed. So we have already covered quite a lot on the aircraft carrier scene of Godzilla vs Kong the trailer and now we shall take a look into the helicopter scene, the one in the recent TV spot. One of those, there are many, uh, where there are a bunch of these V-22 Ospreys and Chinook helicopters carrying the body of Kong. Well actually Kong, the body of Kong would imply that he's dead, but well, he's still alive. Anyway, somewhere in Antarctica, if I'm not mistaken. So let's also take a look at how much Kong would really weigh for this to be possible. So let's get down to it. So Kong of 2017 was 104 feet tall and weighed 153 tons which is peanuts if compared to the other titans of the monsterverse. He is essentially an overgrown gorilla that walks in a bipedal fashion like us humans, although in the teasers of Godzilla vs Kong, he is also seen in all fours, on all fours like an actual gorilla. He is muscular and has a very athletic physique. As of 2021, aside from the increase in size to around 400 feet tall, Kong looks relatively unchanged. However, certain parts of his fur have transitioned into a darker shade of brown and other parts to a lighter shade of brown and even being black in certain areas as well as having developed into a somewhat beard-like structure on his face to signify his older age. Alright, with that out of the way, let us get deeper into the lore of Kong. He was stated to be just an adolescent during the events of Kong Skull Island in 1973 and more than 20 years later during the events of the birth of Kong, he was at least twice his height at around 200 but the weight is still unknown. He was still growing at that time and now in Godzilla vs Kong we see him double his height from 200 to around 400 feet tall. So as he grows taller and muscular, so should his weight also increase. He was 153 tons back in 1973 and given the logarithmic increase of mass as height grows, he should be anywhere between 50 to 80 thousand tons by now, which would allow him a fighting chance against the big G. So how did those helicopters carry him on a freaking net? Well first of all this is a scene that was meant to pay homage to the 1962 King Kong vs Godzilla movie whereby a sedated and sleeping Kong was carried over to Mount Fuji to fight Godzilla. He was tied with gigantic helium balloons and a pair of helicopters. The physics didn't add up back then and it sure doesn't add up now as well. I counted the number of Ospreys and Chinook helicopters that were on the scene and it was 16 as well as 12 more lines of ropes with unseen aircrafts. So let us take the total number at 30 helicopters and multi-role V-22 Ospreys, just to be safe. Oh, we have researched and found out that a Chinook helicopter, a single one, can carry like 11 tons in total and the V-22 Ospreys can carry around the same at more or less 9 tons or even 10. So all in all an average of 10 tons per aircraft. So with 30 of these helicopters and Ospreys, the total lifting capacity of all of them combined would just be more or less 300 tons. Kong's 8am morning brown baby shit would weigh more than that. The Ape Titan weighs, like we said earlier, between 50 and 80 thousand tons and even if we take the minimum value and drastically half it, we would still have around 30 thousand tons. So in order to have enough lifting capacity, in order to transport Kong like what we saw in the teaser, Monarch would need around 3000 of these aircrafts. As you can see, that's not the same number in the teaser, obviously. So anyway, what if Kong was really built light and maybe that would also explain his agility and jumping off from building to building without crushing them down like a fat kid on a sand castle. So let's say that these aircrafts can carry more than three times the weight with new technology in the monsterverse. Kong would be around 1000 tons then. And this might give him the ability to jump around and run like a man who forgot his phone at home. However. With 1% of the weight of Godzilla, which is 100,000 tons, not a single punch or body slam from Kong would be able to even move Godzilla from his position, like getting slapped by a small paper leather envelope or a leaf. But anyway, there are always loopholes in the storyline and there are always critics who would point them out happily, like little jealous green men watching the big folk mint out gold. Just as long as the scenes are awesome, most of us wouldn't mind at all. After all, it's all camera tricks and CGI. Wing wing. So that's about it. Do let us know whether you are Team Kong or Team Godzilla in the comments section 
And so with that, we come to the end of this video. Hope you liked it and do subscribe if you haven't. I give a thumbs up for support and also smash that notification bell for regular updates on all things monster related right here on MindQ. Till the next video, take care fam.